If you found this video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any other topics you'd like me to you'd like me to cover down in the comments below. Hello and welcome to DevSpot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do event handling in Vue. I'm going to give you a quick overview uh, of what you're going to learn today. So let's start off by showing the click event. So as you can see, we have a div over here and I'm going to change the background color to this hex code that I provided when I click it. So click and there we go. You can see that the color of the background has changed. Refresh it, click again, and you can see that the color is being changed. The other one you're going to learn is how to set up the hover event handler. So you can see there right when I hovered over the event, the background color changed. Refresh, hover, changed. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So for starters, let's walk through how to just set up your div element here. So let's go ahead and create a div with a class name of div container. We have our div created and then let's have an inner div here and let's add a header with a, let's go with click me. And then let's add a little, um, just some simple text down here. And we're also going to show how to, um, change the color of the background here. So we'll add that. And then within our div class here, we're going to want to add a, actually not this one. Let's add a class to this div here. Let's go to class and we'll set this to event display. Oops. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and give it an ID with the same name Event display. Okay. Perfect. So now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and save this. So we can see down here that we have the div. And then I have some CSS here that I, I didn't figure I need to walk through all the CSS. Um, but there you can kind of see it there. So pause it if you want to copy that. Let's save that. And then down here, we now have our div element with some basic styling, just so you can see um, how things change here. I also have within my data or data method here, I have a change color variable, and then I'm going to show you how to set up a method that we can use to change the color when we click it. So let's start by writing this method. So let's go with a name of change background. So, and then let's access our element that we have on the document here. So get element ID. And we went ahead and named our element event display. And then after this, to change the style of an element, you go dot style and we are changing the background color. So let's go ahead and access that CSS property background color like so. And I have a nice little hex code value here for a color to change it to. So let me go ahead and let's copy. That hex code, kind of like a purpley color. Okay, perfect. So there's our hex code. And I also want to change the value of this variable here, change color, because I want to only display this text once the element is clicked. So we'll have that be dependent upon that value there. So one easy way to do that is to just access that variable like so and set it equal to opposite of what we have it set. So that will allow us to toggle um, that text value. So with inside our P tag here in view, you have VF directives here. So if, um, if our change color variable here is set to true, it will show this text. So now when I save this, you see that our text is gone and that's because um, it is set to false and we haven't clicked it to toggle it. All right, perfect. So now to the actual um, point of this video, let's go over the um, event handling that view provides. So let's start by adding the uh, click the uh, on click directive here. So V on, and then you add a click here, like so. And then you go ahead and simply just call that method that we set. Yes. Okay, perfect. So now when we see um, our div over here, nothing changed, but let's see what happens when we click it. Perfect. Look at that. So now you can see that the background color of our div is changed to this hex code that we provided. And it also changes the value of our change color. 
variable here so that it displays the p tag. So there you go, testing it, and you can see that it works. Click and there you go. There's also a shorthand for this. So instead of having to type V on click, you can simply just do at click and this will check for um, click events in a similar fashion. So just like that, just a little shorthand for you. Perfect. So now in the next part of the video, I will show you how to do hovering events or mouse over events. So now I'm going to show you how to set up hover event handling. So right now we have the click setup. Let's go ahead and transition this to handle hovers. So it's super similar and really basic. So when you do the hover event, you simply type mouse over after the V on. We don't need this at anymore. Go ahead, save this. We'll refresh this. And when I hover over it, we should see that the background color changes. Let's see. Boom. Perfect. So it's good to go. And you can see that the, uh, the text toggles in and out at each hover. Okay. So I'll refresh that. Boom. So the hover works. And then similarly to the um, shorthand for the click, um, it's just at mouse over. So hover. Boom. Easy as that. So as well as mouse over, there's another handful of obviously event handling that you can do. So I'll show you one, one more here. So I think, uh, what is it? Mouse, uh, yeah, mouse out. So actually if you look here, so there's, there's so many different ones. I have a, uh, a, uh, plug in here that shows me a bunch of different things, but uh, you have a handful here that you could use. So let's, let's show just for the last one here. Let's do like mouse leave. So let's save that, refresh this page. So now when I hover over this div, when the mouse leaves the div area, it should change the background color. So let's see. So I'm hovering over it now and nothing's changing. And let's see right when I get out, boom, look at that. So it changes the background color. So yeah, there you go. That's just a few different event handling things that you can do with Vue. Um, super easy um, to get started with it. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. And there's a ton of different ones that you can do. Um, so find some documentation online. Uh, there's, there's, there's plenty of it out there to learn from. So um, if you found this video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any other topics you'd like me to you'd like me to cover down in the comments below. Thanks.